Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Gingerbread Village. My name is Megan and it's been a hot minute since I have um, made a video. So I am sorry for anyone who is a long time subscriber that I've been kind of MIA lately. Wow, my hair. Real life problems here, guys. Um, so, I just have to be real for a minute. Um, I've been going through some stuff, and I have been kind of in denial about how well I have been adjusting to going back to work. I was really scared. I was really scared to go back to work because I was afraid that it would fry my mental health and that I would just start cycling again. Um, for those of you that are new, I have bipolar one disorder and I have been in remission for the last three years, which um, my doctor has told me that is very rare and kind of unheard of, but possible. And I've managed to achieve that and I'm super proud of that. But um, the stress of reintegrating it to a, a work environment and kind of, it's a very new, position for me. I've not done anything like this before, so trying to figure it out and learn the ins and outs of this type of a job have just been kind of a challenge. I've realized that the time that I spent roughly two years on lithium completely fried my memory, so I forget things a lot, and that's been a little bit of a challenge with my job. I need to remember a lot of things and be able to do things really fast and it's just a very fast-paced environment and I went into it thinking that I would be able to just pick it up like that and I got really frustrated because things aren't, they don't stick quite as well as they used to and so I have to write everything down and I've tried to figure out a system that works for me and it's just been a process to find that. Um, in the process of all of that though, I have been in denial about everything else that um, goes around my mental health. So to stay stable, I have um, needed to limit my caffeine intake, drink one cup of coffee a day and then the rest water, and drink lots of water. Um, I've needed to exercise a couple times a week and I've needed to cut alcohol out completely and make sure that I'm sleeping. Well, in the last three months since I've gotten this job, I started drinking again pretty um, regularly, like once a week, but once a week is enough to start messing things up. Um, on top of that, I've been drinking coffee all day long. I've been drinking very little water. I haven't been sleeping well. I haven't been eating well. I haven't been going to the gym very regularly and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it hardcore, guys. And I kind of had to sit down with myself today and have a long, hard look in the mirror and realize that what I'm doing isn't working and that I need to recognize what's best for me and for my mental health. And this is scary because I am so scared. I'm so scared that I'm gonna go back to a place where I'm not really able to care for myself or for my kids. Um, I had a period of time like that before where I kind of let the house go. I wasn't taking care of my pets. I was doing bare minimum with my kids. I was feeding them and getting them bathed, but that was really it. Otherwise, mommy was stuck in bed and I really don't want to go through that again. And I'm pushing hard to not let that happen. For a long time before that, I was in a very long state of depression and I was functioning. And when I quit my job in 2015, it I had to because I was gonna get fired. Um, because of my depression, because it, it physically slowed me down and I couldn't keep up with my job anymore and I'm really afraid 
that I'm gonna get back to that place. So I need to start taking care of myself again. Um, I really need to um, find a way to be held accountable for my mental health and for my physical health because that they all go hand in hand. So I've decided that I'm gonna start a new series with all of you um, and let you all be my accountability buddy. Um, so I'm going to film what it looks like to get back on track and you guys can help me get back on track. Um, I want to thank everyone who in recent videos, which I know they haven't been very consistent, I apologize for that, but um, for those of you who have been very supportive and I know in each of these videos I have said that I want to be more consistent and I think doing this series is really going to help me be able to be more consistent. Um, I am trying really hard to recognize some things in myself. This is driving me crazy. Wow. How do you guys watch me with my hair like this? Um, I am really, really trying to be more accountable as a mom too. And so um, a video about that is also coming soon. So thank everyone for hanging on with me. And if you're new here, thank you for joining my gingerbread village. And hopefully there's going to be a lot more videos um, about all of this to come. So if you are here for the mental health side of this, wishes are going to be granted because I am going to really gear up on that aspect of my channel. Um, if you're here more for the parenting side, I am going to crank out some of those videos soon as well. So bear with me. I know I have not been consistent for that. I apologize. I'm working on it. I'm really, really struggling. Just seems like I am just spinning my wheels and I just keep digging myself deeper. So thank everyone for watching this video. I know it's been kind of short and very rambly. I apologize. Um, but there is no such thing as a cookie cutter life. Stay tuned for the next one. Take care.